Well, as you said, a picture similar to what we saw at LVMH yesterday, luxury like really enjoying a momentum and a post-pandemic uh, spending from consumers there. And we see, so as you mentioned, revenue up 95% in the second quarter compared to last year. Remember that last year, the first half of last year is really when most luxury goods were impacted by the pandemic and the lack of international travel. But we see really the momentum coming back for these brands. And compared to 2019, so stripping out this pandemic effect, uh, the revenue there was up 11% for carrying the net, uh, recurring net profit. So at one, uh, just below 1.5 billion euros, so just slightly below the 2019 level. So that's different to what we saw at LVMH where it was above. But two positive notes from carrying. One is uh, the performance at Gucci. Of course, it makes about three quarters of profit for carrying. So carrying very much relies on the success of Gucci, which has an incredible ride for the past few years. Always been this worry of a normalization of a slowdown uh, of that brand. But it still is still a very much successful sales for point. 5 billion euros in the first half returning to pre-pandemic levels. They also had good momentum at Saint Laurent and Bottega Veneta, other brands that have been trying to beef up and build up uh, also to kind of reduce their reliance on Gucci. And that's something that analysts have very much been focusing on uh, for caring whether the brand, the group was too reliant on uh, Gucci. They, they see that um, actually hearing from uh, the CFO yesterday uh, that caring is looking at potential M&A targets. They said there's a scarcity of targets are there, but they have their eyes there for a potential opportunity. They have a record free cash flow at 2.4 billion euros, they have very low level of debt, so they are in a very good position to potentially uh, do some M&A deals in the second half. But they say at Gucci, um, again, the momentum back is still there for that brand. They expect the second half to actually be, still be successful for Gucci. It's a centenary of the brand. There'll be special uh, collection and special events that they say will um, boost the brand in the second half of the year. So it is two positive notes uh, with the carrying on the lookout for potential M&A. We see a positive reaction this morning on the back of those carrying results with the shares of carrying up 0.9% on the CAC 40. Steve.